welcome welcome Wito fam good day good morning good evening whatever you are in the world and we are gonna do a educational vid today <coughs> so we're gonna start with Bitcoin Bitcoin uh, why it dropped how it dropped was it to be expected or not uh, let me start with this one on the one hour time frame I shared this yesterday in the private group I told them be prepared for a big drop and try to make money out of big drops so because if you are in any short or you're shorting Bitcoin or altcoins or whatever asset out there uh, only focus on making a stop loss tied in it so for example if you entered over here put on a stop loss at the, at the previous high over here but when you want to the take profit uh, level don't put it too tight put it far so for example when you're trading when you see moves like this because this is madness and i've been sharing a lot about this that we need that four five to ten k candles on bitcoin it's going to happen at some time at some point so it's it's just a matter of when and not if and people that are very experienced in trading they know this so what they do is even when they jump in over here and they they, they are trading bitcoin for example they put their uh, stop loss over here but their take profit they they really take it far so when it happens they're gonna make so much money that they can lose the next 10 trades so you just when you see moves like this very strong moves up at some point we're gonna get those big candles i've been telling you guys this for the past weeks they will come those candles will come it's just a matter of when they will come and so well yesterday i was eyeing the markets and i decided to share in the private group uh, guys put on if you're shorting put on a tight stop loss but do not put on a tight take profit level so for example when you're trading we know that we were at uh, 44 45 44 3 or 43 or 44 levels the next uh, possible uh, support level is the 40k level that's just a round number you don't have to do any ta about that or whatever and when you see 40k you never put your stop loss at 40k you always higher that up a bit so you can get hit well over here we touched the 42 so the team did exactly and where they have been shorting bitcoin by the way for like two weeks now it's not something that they did uh, they've been shorting bitcoin a, a lot the past week and well this is where they hit their jackpot over here and when you hit this you gotta make so much money that you can lose a lot of other trades I know it's a bit difficult that I will not get into a lot of details because I'm going to make a vid uh, for the Maxi Trading Group, also for the Open Maxi Trading Group, by the way. And I will explain in details how you execute those because these spikes, it's a spike hunting. And there is also another thing. So this is for the people that were shorting, but I, I know that the team at 40K levels, they always also have their spot buy buy in they spot buy in they just put in because when we are 44k a lot of people well 40k we're probably never gonna hit that again because we're going to the moon yeah right right so that's uh if you believe that keep believing that uh, moon we're going to the moon just keep believing that we're going to the moon but that's not how charts work it's not how markets work you go up you come down you go up you come down you go up you go come down and you have to anticipate at those at, the, at those moments when they happen and then you can ask me oh well wait a minute and people but why did you share that yesterday a couple of hours before this happened yeah, that's just experience that's just experience that's just experience and maybe maybe i would be wrong and this thing went up to 50k i can be wrong also but I most of the time nil those uh, nil those calls so let me let me tell you how this how this happened so this was over here we've got let's put on the indicator the indicator by the way for the guys that are watching this video now about the indicator there are a lot of people asking me what does red mean what does uh, uh, 
guys you can just go to the indicator go on to settings and just put this thing on white 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 i like to use the first one in green and the second one in yellow that's just my own choice personal choice and i've got the 200 email on the purple these are just my personal choice but the, about the, the colors in the band just put them on white because they don't mean nothing they don't it's just a band so you're either up or you either down it when they cross or when they it doesn't mean nothing it's not made for uh, i know that there are a lot of other indicators that work like that way in the, in the indicator it doesn't work to just make it white both of them and don't look at when it turns red or when they cross it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter so for now over here yesterday we lost it over here and then we came into this trend line as you can see we, we went uh, below it and then we pumped above it and then we couldn't hold it over here was the was the first uh, confirmation because you need confirmation also that's why a lot of times I tell you, you we need confirmation first so this was the confirmation this candle over here well and then boom 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 and then we we dump down so this is very important when you're when you're, when you're doing your TA you need confirmation because over here uh, a lot of people went into a short over here but this thing could have broken up but when you got confirmation that the trend line has gotten broken and the, and the indicator also has gotten broken on the one hour and then you got this one and i've shared like what was it like four or five days ago i told you when we're gonna lose the the the, the indicator on the one hour be very careful but it was over here if you can remember this and then we've got this dump when we lost it on the one hour so over here we got confirmation that it was gone on the one hour and then we got this dump well after that we chopping around Got above it, and then we got other below it, above it, below it, and then this trend line was helping us a bit. And then over here, we've got the confirmation that the trend line also was broken, the indicator was broken, and kaboom, boom, 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 and it's it's gone. So, guys, this indicator is very inf important for people. It doesn't matter if you don't short; it's also this indicator going to help you a lot because why? Even if you don't short, when you see that we're losing momentum or we're losing momentum on the price action, and the indicator is pointing that out, means that there is a chance that we're gonna dump we're gonna dump it, it means that bitcoin is, is losing momentum so you can uh, like suppose you're in holding a lot of uh, bags on bitcoin or on altcoins or whatever you can put some off the table take some profits or take it out or decrease your your, your decrease your your your, your entries your your, your your the value of your bags and what you can do is this you have to always let me go uh, show you guys uh, for example an, uh, an altcoin for example if you're, let me remove the indicator here for example you're you're, you're very bullish on uh, on Cardano, you're very bullish on Cardano. You think that Cardano is going to moon and it's all started and we're going to hit the one dollar possible. And well, maybe you missed this run and you jumped in over here, etc. Guys, it's very important that again these charts don't go up in one line. They just don't go up in one line. And what you gotta do is you gotta take some off the table. And you can use the indicator to help you. Because over here we lost it, we bounced back above it, and it's the same here. Confirmation that we lost it, and boom. Over here we also got confirmation, and then it bounced back. So over here this was a fake out. It goes up, 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 but it's not, it doesn't always work out. It doesn't always work out because if this thing would work out always we would all be millionaires and we would all be very rich because there are a lot of other things that also play a role because if this thing confirms that it's down but bitcoin is at support levels or decided to make a bounce up this thing will follow this thing will follow bitcoin it's it's uh, it's, it's a no-brainer this thing will follow Bitcoin because if Bitcoin starts pumping Cardano will follow and over here when you when you suppose you're very bullish on Cardano you think wait a minute I want to jump in and because it's going to the moon etc listen you've got this indicator you can use it and over here over here put on some buy orders because if you would get hit over here suppose only on on, on, on spot not on, not on leverage we already bounced like 10 percent and i'm i'm telling you in in trading i have been making the most money in spikes so what i do is i watch the the the, the, the chart and i put in suppose we were over here at, at, at 60 cents and then it's a oh, it's impossible that we're going back to 50 cents okay no problem just put in those damn buy orders 
put in the wire, maybe you'll get hit. And then you're sleeping, you wake up, wait a minute, what the F happened over here? Well, you're gonna check the chart and you see that you already made 10% on this spike. Is there a risk? Yes, because suppose Bitcoin dropped to 30K, then this thing will probably went to 40, then you gotta have uh, 10%, but you can place orders with with, with stop limits. So you can place, for example, you get filled over here and then you put a stop limit at 49 cents, for example. Well, is there a risk that you get hit and then <laughs> you get stop lost and then it go up? Yeah, that's the risk you have to take if you want to be very conservative, you want to be very defensive. For me, I like to, you have to always, you have to always check this chart first because if you believe, if you believe that Bitcoin will, is so strong fundamentally and will not dump and etc. If you believe that, then you have to be safe thinking, wait a minute, 40k, if we drop to 40k, it will probably hold, it will probably hold. Or you have to do something else, is also, uh, don't put a stop loss over here. Suppose you have like 5k you want to invest in Cardano. Then you put in like a two or two and a half K over here. And then you put out another one K over here. And then you put out another one K over here. And that way you'll DCA down. So because this thing is not going, going to dump to 20 cents in one line. It's possible it could happen, but that's the risk you take. But to catch those spikes, you have to place those orders. And I know that a lot of people, they, 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 they don't have enough money because the money that they have, they're using it uh, or they're all in. And guys, you know, I never, 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 never go or always have cash, especially when markets are overbought. Always have at least 50% cash on the side. Don't be greedy because that cash can make you like 10 minutes in five minutes, at 10% uh, in five minutes on these on the on these dumps these quick dumps so for now that's spike hunting and spike hunting happens also at the upside at the upside is also spike hunting because suppose that you're shorting uh, suppose you're shorting and you're going to do your analyze on the higher time frames and like these spikes that you see up over here you can place your orders over there to make some nice short opportunities and i've i've, I've I've, I've, I've shared this. I don't know where it, what chart it was. Like AVAX, AVAX is going crazy. It's, it has to do something about the, 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 the gaming, uh, the gaming, the, the having some gaming uh, shit, etc. But look at, look at AVAX, how, how this thing is going. So suppose that I would short, or I'm, I, I would love to short. This is a chart that I love to short. I love to short because look at it: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. Seven days only. Pump, pump, pump. This thing went from twenty bucks to almost forty bucks. And this is a very, this is a high cap altcoin. This is not a bullshit coin or whatever. This thing is way overbought. This, this is too much. This is really too much. So, and when I open my chart and I see a chart like this, then. I would think, wait a minute, this is a good chart to start shorting. And when you're shorting, you have to understand that this thing could make another pump up to uh, maybe to 42, maybe to 45, maybe to 50. But when you are shorting as a pro, you understand and you know that when you're shorting, you have to be not greedy. So you do it on DCA. So suppose I would start to short over here. And then if this thing would go up, I short and add to the short. And when it goes to here, I add to the short. When it goes to over here, I add to the short. And then my average would be over here somewhere. And this thing is not going to moon in one line. It just ain't. So at some point, this thing is going to do something like this. And when it does something, you can you can you can you can you can make your decision to 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 get out at break even, or you are gonna make some money, put on your stop loss, and that's how you trade. That's how you trade leverage and how you short markets. It's not uh, you're gonna calculate the top, and from the top you're going all in. And if it if that thing decides to go up, it's going to wreck you. You're going to get liquidated. This is, this is the biggest mistake leverage traders make. You have to decrease your position. You have to decrease your position. You have to go in low. And if, let me give you another example. I've, I've made a video about this um, a couple of months ago. So if I would do my, suppose, let, let's just stay at AVAX. Let's just stay at AVAX. 
let's let's look at AVAX. AVAX, when I would put it on the weekly, I'm going to check how is this chart looking like. Well, this thing is just mooning. And again, it has got something to do with the gaming. And then I'm going to, to see some liquidity levels. We've got one over here, this high over here, and this high over here. So I've ha I have to keep in mind that this thing could go to the 43, 44 levels. So we I'm going to wait, or if you're if, if, you, if you want to trade like a pro, when this thing spikes up on the lower time frames, where you've got like big moves like we had over here, then you start DCA buying in slowly. And suppose that I wanted to make a position of 3K and I've got this level for me to hold as some real serious resistance levels for, for, for a pullback. What I'm going to do is, is very simple. I'm going to, like I've got 3K, I'm going to start with 500 bucks. And when it got, comes to here, I will add a thousand bucks. And when it goes to here, I will add another 750 and etc. etc. And that's how you manage to get an average at this line over here and not here. And I can assure you that most of the charts, when they make big moves, they most of the time they will come back. And that's when you are in the money. And if you hit the 500 bucks over here and like now it's coming down, you are in the money. It's not as much as if you would have a 3K, a $3,000 position, but you have defended yourself from the fact that it could also come here. So you have to not be greedy. Focus, focus, focus. No greed. You made a plan. You wanted to short AVAX. You think that you're going to make some money out of this and you probably will. So what you got to do is this, because if you would say, wait a minute, AVAX, it went up and uh, this is the resistance level. I want to jump in. Are you putting your 3K over here and it decided to go to the 43, 44? You can get liquidated over here because I know that many, they don't know how to rule their risk management. If you want to rule your risk management, your, 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 if, if this is serious resistance level, your, at least, at least your, your liquidation level has to be at 60 bucks. That's where it got to be. Or maybe even higher. So this way, when you're trading, you're trading with 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 no emotions, uh, and your mind is very, 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 very calm and, and solid. And that's how you keep building your portfolio and growing your wealth. So it's it's, guys, it's I know it's maybe a bit too complicated for most of you guys, but again, I will make. Uh, a bit uh, with much more details step by step so i'm just giving you the big picture over here so when you decide to short something do it with a very low amount dca in if i decided to go into avex on this move because you have to always see you have to see it like this look at this and when you're when when you when you by the way when you want to short a coin short a big cap never short those the, the, those low cap because I'm seeing some some also in the maxi trading group I see some they are sharing some PLs on, on very very low cap low cap altcoins that is gambling because why those things can make like uh, a 100 200 percent in a day and they will totally wreck you and you will get liquidated on your whole portfolio or if you isolated it on the position that you made so I do not like to 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 to, to, to share uh, to the team my thoughts on coins that are very low cap because when some low cap altcoin made like a 500%, I would not short it. Why would I not short it? Because it has got a low. It, it's it, the, 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 the only one will has to decide to to buy it up and it can make a two three x in two three days and you will get liquidated. So you're going to lose all your money. So if you short, short the big caps. And as you can see, what I wanted to point out on this, what you see over here is you've got always moves. So you've got this move and then it comes back and then you've got this move and then it comes back and then you've got this move and then it comes back and then you've got this move. And then, so this is, this is how charts work. This is how it goes. So what you're going to do is this, when you've got a move like this, this is where you have to open a short. So on a move and you don't have to nail this top. You can also get it on over here or on over here. And when this thing you DCA in and when it comes down, you are in profits. And then you've got Mr. Indicator over here who will help you to decide to take the damn profits because you know that when something falls down, the indicator most of the time is the pillow, is the cushion. It's, it finds there some support. So here's where you take your damn profits. And it so and on this move again, you decided I'm going to start DCA buying in. So over here, suppose 
again you want you wanted to do like the 3k don't do the 3k you're gonna do the 500 bucks so your 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 your, your profits will be less but that's the trade you made. Don't be greedy. Don't think about it. Don't keep thinking, oh, wait a minute. What if I went in with 3K? I would have had, like, suppose I would have had 300 bucks in profits. And now I just only had 500. So I only have, like, 70 bucks in profits. And no, that's not important. The money is not important. What I'm trying to teach you is to, to learn how to trade. And when you're going to be very good at it, and you've got the experience, and you're going to understand the markets and how they rule and how they work and how they they gone back and how they went to where, where, where to take profits etc etc that's when you can increase your positions but the position but but the plan stays the same because if you're trading with 3k and you're gonna only get in 500 bucks on this move or, or 1k like 30 percent of, of what you want to invest when you're trading with 30k you got to do the same you're gonna do the same so you're gonna do like 5k over here and then when it goes up you do another 3k another 2k so that's how it works so it doesn't matter the important lesson that i wanted to give you guys here is if you want to leverage trade make sure that you're doing it with low amounts so meaning max five percent ten percent of your trading portfolio because that way these guys can't liquidate you because it's over 60 bucks or some miracle has to happen it's always possible, but some miracle has to happen. If this thing would jump up in one, in one line to, to, to $60, then you're liquidated, then you're dead. So you, you, you risk the trade and you get liquidated and that's it. But nine of, or 95% of the times, this thing goes up, comes down, goes up, comes down, goes up, comes down. And you DCA in because when you see that a coin like this made a run, from here to here, from almost uh, 70%, at some point, it's going to pull back like it did here. And over here is where you take the damn profits. So this is uh, an example how to leverage trade, guys. How to, how to, because let me show you another one. I, I'm not going to, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. The team really killed this, this chart. They really made so much money on this ordinals uh, bullshit uh, project. They really killed killed this chart because a lot of people made a lot of money over here but let me tell you the people that made a lot of money those are not retailers that made a lot of money over here so the retailers are the ones that uh, oh uh, ordinals going to the moon and all those influencers yeah it's the news this and that etc and then someone tweeted a tweet boom it came back and then how do i how do i check this i checked the volume because the volume was like 1.3 billion at some point and i checked it yesterday it was like 300 million so i know that a lot of money is getting out of of, of, of ordinals the fomo is is beginning to come down from it so they really are nailing this chart and they are been shorting it by the way from here they were dca buying dca 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 boom take profits bounce boom and again and again and again so same with super super is also being shilled to it, it's being super 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 shilled and for sure uh mr elio is 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 making some uh, he, he knows the game so uh, there is something big coming to super so uh, be ready because we're going to to to, to show you guys our new partnerships and etc 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 well that was when it was over here this is where the, those influences I was reading all over. Super, super is going to get something, etc., etc. And lo look at it, boom, boom, boom. And then, and then what happened after? Almost thirty percent down. So what does that mean? Let me tell you what that means. It's very simple. The same people that are shilling it were buying over here, and they maybe even bought over here. And they start the the, the the marketing machine starts shilling the shit out of that coin again, and this is where they will be selling and taking their profits. And the bag holders, the retailers, will become bag holders, and they will take their profits. Does it mean that super is going to down? It doesn't. Come, no, super can come up because the game keeps repeating itself. At some point, the shilling will start again, and, and we're going to the moon, etc., etc., and then we'll go to the 90, 90 cents, 87 cents uh, regions. I believe that that will happen at some point. But you have to understand that smart money has been buying in here or buys in here, and then they will release their dogs to shill it to you, and that's what they will start selling. Any read 
freaking retailer watching my vids, please focus, 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 focus. Be the hunter, don't be the hunted. Because we as retailers, we are getting hunted down by smart money. That's what they do. That's what they're made for. A whole crypto space is made for this. And I, I, I'm really, I'm really... I'm really, I'm really getting so emotional and so, so angry a lot of times because a lot of, uh, a lot of retailers are so sensitive to greed and to, and to FOMO and to, and we're going to the moon, going to the moon because I know it. I, when I, when I, when, when Bitcoin dumps and I make a tweet, there are almost no views, no likes, no retweets. You know why? I know why. I understand why. Because they are wrecked. Because they, they are just wrecked. They, they, at the top, they stop. They, they start buying on Bitcoin. Uh, has has been made in sick, and I've been sharing it. Eight green weekly candles. The only uh, the only time that this happened was in 2017. What do you expect to happen? Do you think that we're just going to the moon? Is the spot ATF uh, uh, approved? Is there some? news that made bitcoin go even much more higher and then i've also tweeted about this all this bullshit about uh about 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 bitcoin is drying up on exchanges and there is no bitcoin any left so at some point we're going to the million because there is no there is no there is no bitcoin left on exchanges and everything has been bought up by everyone so bitcoin is going to the moon I've been seeing this bullshit for the past years and the previous cycles. I've seen it so many times. When I was telling people to jump out at 69k, it was the same, the same, the same, the same. At exactly at those moments, everyone was telling, wait a minute, over here, it was, it really was over here, over here, guys, over at 67k. Listen, guys, uh, th there is no Bitcoin left and the miners can't get any like, the, uh, Bitcoin and the hash and the this and the that and the blah, 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 blah. Look what happened. Look what happened. We went from freaking 67K to 15K. Over here, they were telling you there was no Bitcoin left on exchanges. But I'm, I'm, I'm also showing you guys. I also showed on Twitter. I showed you that smart money was selling Bitcoin. I was showing you guys. It was. It was. Uh, I, I even showed you the, the 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 wallet address. I showed you how much he sold. I showed you he made like sixty five million dollars in profits, and he was selling. He was selling over here. Over here he was selling. Why? If there is no Bitcoin left on exchanges, why is he selling? So that's why, guys, you have to. You have to. You have to really be strong. You have to really be strong, and to understand that. That, that, that CT is 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 filled by greed. It's these the, the, these guys will will get into your head. They will get into your mind, and they will fill you by greed. And I said it also. If you missed the pump, be the trader. There are always opportunities. And if you are really hungry to get into the markets because you're really expecting it to explode, wait for the buy levels to hit. Wait for the buy levels to hit. I made a lot of vids. I made a lot of tweets where I would be buying. Why do you think that the past vids that I made when the markets were exploding, why do you think that I'm not saying that I'm buying in now? No, I will only buy in if the markets come down. If the markets do not come down, I will not buy in. Very simple. I'm not going to be exit liquidity wills and if i'm going to miss pumps so be it so be it if like glmr let me let me give you guys glmr for example i've made a vid about this everyone knows this so glmr i i gave you guys my 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 my, my predictions about the glmr and where i will be buying in i also told you this is what and if that changed i also share that but my buy-ins on glmr are at the 27 to 25 to 20 cents levels so over here this is this is these are the regions where i will be buying in glmi if it comes down and as you can see guys i'm, I'm just putting this chart on look at it look look at the strength of the indicator it's really it's really guys any retailer 
that is in CT, that is not using the M wheel color indicator, is the thief of its own pockets, and it's really, a, it's really, it's really, it's really a disgrace. I don't know what, what what English word to use. It's really. I'm trying to give retailers something for free, so they can, so, so they can, so, so, so they can, so, so they can look at it, look at it. I, 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 I can make any chart out there, and you'll see that the indicator. Look, it it it, it came. It, look how it dropped. Boom, 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 boom. Indicator. Pass up. How much was this? Let me see. This was ten percent pounds. Ten percent. Put in a buy order over here. Ten percent on a big amount of spot. You don't even have to use leverage because leverage is dangerous. Because if this thing suppose that Bitcoin dumped more. Which I didn't expect, by the way. But suppose it dumped more. This thing could have came back to the 20, 25 cents, and then you got liquidated. So uh, when you're buying spot, just spot, spot over here, buy order, boom, I made 10 percent. Take the money, or hold it, or take some off the table, or whatever you gotta do. About the Maxi Trading Private Trading Group. Let's make something, uh, some, something, something clear about this. Um, we have uh, the team and I are still struggling because uh, there are some things going on. So I am sharing some of uh, I am sharing my charts over there. So, but for the guys that are over there, when you send me a, a, a private uh, your UID number to join the last four numbers, the team checked some of them and most were even not trading or there was one uh, i don't know uh, did uh, most didn't deposit money on their maxi uh, one did like he 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 sent me an e a dm i've put in 100 bucks over there it's eating dust over there guys who are you fooling are you fooling me are you fooling the team or are you fooling yourself who are you fooling i really don't get it maxi i've said it a lot of times i even made a tutorial so if you didn't watch my tutorial maxi go watch it it's by 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 far the cheapest exchange out there in trading fees and especially if you're an in and out trader like me you're gonna save yourself from sick money on trading fees so i don't understand why would you open a maxi account and don't put any money on it and don't put any uh, and don't trade on it you're at binance or at bybit or at uh bing x or you're at uh, coinbase or crack or whatever you are and you're trading over there paying sick money on fees and just making a maxi global because uh because i want to be in the friends group it doesn't work like that we've got the maxi open group i do my thing over there you don't even need a maxi uh account just stay at bybit stay at binance whatever you are keep paying those high fees i don't care it's your money not my money but if you decided to get into the friends group with the team and with me and you want to you want to trade over there trade over there but don't lie about it and put in some 100 bucks or don't deposit at all or, or, or you're not trading over there i really don't get it Especially if you're, a D, if you're a Degen, all those Degen coins are maxi. I really don't know what people are doing. Low fees, Degen coins. No, I, I, you know what I do? I make a, I make a maxi account uh, for, with the link, and then I'll just leave it over there. And guys, I've been trading crypto for a decade. I'm trading on maxi, and not because I love maxi or they're great or whatever. I don't give a damn about maxi. I give a damn about my money if I'm paying like average uh, 2k or 5k uh, fees in a month I'm paying at maxi maybe max 1k or 750 difference between between maxi and Binance and or Bybit or Qcoin or whatever I'm saving myself a lot of fees that's why I trade on maxi guys enough about this vid I hope that you guys have uh, have learned something from uh, from from this and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one and bye bye